you know, this is something that we do a lot, you know, and I'll show you some videos here in a second, but this is a U target. It's called leather pitching target.com. It's about 200 bucks. It's the best investment you could ever make as a pitching coach because you don't need a catcher. This thing can get beat up. Um, it doesn't uh, really take any into effect as far as what happens to the leather. Uh, I've had some of these things for eight to 10 years and they still look just like this on the computer screen, you know, but again, you know, we're trying to use the change up and the breaking ball uh, from an existence where it's considered a power pitch. I think a lot of times when you ask a kid, hey, if you're throwing an off speed pitch, tell me what that means and tell me what your body does. And they usually say slow or slow down or everything just kind of comes to a halt and is exactly what happens. So when we here at the UW throw our, our change up or our breaking ball, we call them power pitches. I want their mind to think power. I want them to think, hey, I'm throwing a 100 mile an hour breaking ball. You see some of these breaking balls in the big leagues now that are 90 plus miles an hour. Those guys are trying to throw it like a 100 mile an hour fastball. And so we want them to be overly aggressive when they throw those pitches. So I think in those key words, and again, everybody's a little bit different. I had a pitcher who was the whack pitcher of the year, and he was a really, really fun guy to be around. You'll see a video of him too. You know, his key word was a honey badger. And I always would laugh at it, you know, because I'm like, how would you come up with a honey badger? Well, little did I know, a honey badger's kind of a badass animal. And, you know, so that was his key word that really helped him think of power or being aggressive when he threw his breaking ball or his changeup. 